Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing today? I'm doing good. So, per the title of the video, we're going to talk about uh, casting spells. A lot of times, we don't know that we're casting spells because we are using um, our everyday language. But words are powerful. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, the ancients used the ancients used symbols and parables. Uh, to teach because they knew the power of words. Words are powerful. In the Bible, it says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Do you see what I'm saying? And the, the, the Bible, for instance, is nothing more than a coded book of spells. Let me tell you why I say that the Bible is a coded book of spells. It is said that the Bible, well, we know that the Bible was written in Hebrew, and it is said that Hebrew is a divine, uh, a divine supernatural language. And because it's a di divine supernatural language, it is hard to decode. And so when the, when the Europeans went to decode um, the Bible, went to translate the Bible, what they were doing was they were writing down uh, coded spells. Do you see what I'm saying? And the reason why I say that is because there are 22 letters uh, in the ancient uh, in the ancient Hebrew alphabet, and per those 22 letters, uh, uh, they represent they represent cycles of seven letters. Not only do they represent cycles of seven letters, there is also they also have a a coinciding number as well as a symbol. Uh, to every letter. Let me give you an example. The number seven, the number seven is guarded, is regarded as the number of perfection and completion. The number eight, however, represents a new beginning. And take, for instance, you got seven days of the week from Sunday, uh, from Sunday to Saturday, there are seven days, uh, the eighth day, uh, which is the same day, Sunday, it represents a new beginning because although it is still Sunday, it is another day, a new beginning. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, in the Bible, it says on the seventh day, he rested. He saw that it was good. He saw that it, it was complete. But on the eighth day, he woke up and, re and created uh, again. Again, he began a new day. And when we uh, and when we go day by day, week week by week, uh, we there's the same days, but we have different circumstances and different events from week to week. So that is a little bit uh, a part of the reason why they say that the uh, the Bible is coded. For instance, uh, because it is is known to is said to be a divine supernatural language. That is the reason for that. Um, and it's also, and we also know that um, spoken words transmit messages uh, via tone and vibration. Those those vibrations, those tones, are uh, they they carry messages um, to the brain. The brain can controls thought. The brain also shapes and reset, reshapes our reality. And I say that, and not only me, uh, we say that words are spells uh, because every word has a distinct tone and vibration. The, let me give you a couple examples. The very word grammar, that word is derived from the book, the book uh, the book of spells called the grimoire. The grimoire is, is believed by the Wiccan to be the most powerful book of spells. That The word grammar is derived from uh, the most powerful book of spells. Media, for instance, uses words all the time uh, to control the masses. Take, for instance, the word government. The word government is derived from the Latin the, the, the is derived from the Latin verb that that means uh governo governo gov, gov, I'm sorry govern governo uh meaning uh control the Latin noun uh, of that means uh it, it is mentis mentis meanings mind and when you put the words together governo and mentis it means to control the mind. 
So we all know that the government dictates dictates and controls our daily lives. So that is what the word government means. You hear government every single day, every time you turn on the news, they're talking about something that the government uh, is doing or something that the government uh, has said. Take the word uh, understand. Understand means to stand under. But the word understand means to internalize uh, the word. The word overstand means to stand above. You never want to stand under anything or anybody. You never want to be under anybody's control. And that is why that word understand is so powerful. The word sheep uh, means to follow. Let me give you an example. If one sheep uh, falls off of cliff, falls off of a cliff, all the other sheep will follow that one sheep uh, over the ledge. Now you have the word sheep herder. The sheep herder is necessary because they lead the sheep uh, where they want the sheep to go. And the reason why I brought up the word sheep is because a lot of us free thinkers uh, call the masses, a lot of folks in the masses, sheep because they are so... They are so uh, uh, controlled uh, by simple words, by the words that the government speaks, by the words that they that they uh, that they understand instead of overstand. And uh, they are they are followers. There are very few leaders and way too many sheep, way too many followers, you know, uh, and, 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 and uh, we don't use this word so much uh, today. But every once in a while, we'll greet somebody, we'll greet each other with the word hello. Hello really means oh hell. Oh hell, inverted, it means oh hell. You know, like here they come. You know what I mean? The word is inverted. Uh, uh, It's not really a greeting. It's a like, oh my God, here they come. I really don't want to talk to her anyway. Do you see what I'm saying? And nobody... um, Nobody really uses that word uh hello any morning. Like like the top of the video I said good morning. Good morning meaning uh happy start to your day. Hope you have a good day. Hope great things uh will happen to you the, uh, uh uh today. Uh you know there are a lot of meanings to a lot of words and a lot of the meanings to a lot of the words have been lost in translation. Do you see what I'm saying? And so we have to be mindful. My grandmama used to say, watch your mouth. I now know what she meant by watch your mouth, because what she was saying is watch what you say, because you can be speaking a thing into existence. Earlier, I think Sunday, I did a video about the power of the tongue and how the power and how powerful the tongue is, because the power, the the tongue can speak uh, 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 life or death. It can speak uh, positive or negative into your life. You can literally shape your world via the words that are coming out of your mouth. So in essence, we have to watch which, what we say and how we say it. And spells are so easily cast upon ourselves because we simply do not understand the true meaning of words, the true meaning of what it is uh, that we're that that that. The, the true meaning of what it is that we're saying. Anyway, I just want to bring this little quick video uh, to you guys about casting spells and words. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, and as always, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to, to hit that notifications bell so that you can be notified uh, when I post another video. Hope you guys have a nice day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.